what's good what's good what is good my sizes we're back again with another video and today we're going over everything you need to know about formula one now the race itself is three days however you can still get tickets for the opening ceremony as well as each day of the race now the cool thing about that is you can either get a one day pass for either thursday friday or saturday or you could get a three day pass however a three day pass those ticket prices start at roughly $2,000. November 15th, which just so happens to be a Wednesday, is their opening ceremony and that starts at 7.30 p.m. The race itself takes place November 16th through the 18th, which is Thursday through Saturday. November 16th, they have two different races, one at noon and one at 6 p.m. November 17th, they have a race at 6 p.m. And November 18th, they have a race at 6 p.m. Gates open at 6 p.m. each day on Thursday, November 16th, all the way through to Saturday, November 18th. Now, on Thursday, you have one free practice at 8.30 p.m. and another free practice at midnight. Friday, November 17th, you have a free practice number three at 8.30 p.m. and qualifying at midnight. And Saturday is the race, which begins at 10 p.m. Now, the cool thing is what we're actually driving is the supposed pathway of the race itself. It starts on Colville and Harmon, and then you take that all the way up to Sands Avenue, which is the street that we're on right now. And after this light, you have to turn right onto the Las Vegas Boulevard. And you take that all the way down to Harmon, and then you're right back to where we started. Now there are a couple of spots I did miss because due to all of the traffic, I and the map that I found that there was no street signs uh, on the map that I had found. But with all of the construction going on, a lot of the areas were actually closed off as well. But there is a couple of sections that I did miss on this, but for the majority aspect of it, this is the route that they will be taking. As you can see, all of the light fixtures are up, and after this light, we will actually see some of the stands as well. Which, the cool thing about the stands is that there, I saw indoor seating and outdoor seating. Now, the weird thing is that they looked just like regular bleachers that you see on like the football stands. And then some sections had folding chairs. Another thing I noticed about the seating is that they were color-coded. I believe the colors were red, blue, and green. Um, but over here, you'll see that there's outdoor seating in front of the Bellagio and the Mirage. And then right next to the Bellagio on the left side was like their indoor seating. But yeah, those are all folding chairs up there. And that is actually where the volcano is supposed to be. And they actually shut off the show for the volcano about a month prior to this just for the construction and the preparing of this. And also the skywalks to get from, let's say, Caesar's Palace to across the street to like the Link and the Flamingo and stuff, those walkways that you take, they're now tinted and you will not be able to stand on the walkway and watch the race. You won't be able to look out at it. So they put up a special tint for that. So here's the thing. When they first started building the construction for Formula One, it was rumored that they signed a 10 year contract, that like Formula One signed a 10 year contract with Vegas to have their race here. Now, locals, do we think it'll work? Do we think they'll stay for the full 10 years? Do we think this will bring in the revenue that they're hoping for? Because I am just genuinely confused as to how they're gonna block off half of the strip for views and stuff, but yet they're still selling tickets to the race two weeks away. Or do we think it will deter people from coming to Vegas during the time of Formula One? Because think about it, if I was a tourist right now, I don't know if I would have the best of times in Vegas. You blocked off the volcano show at the Mirage and you canceled it. You have all of the walkways tinted to where you can't see on the outside of them. There's a bunch of different traffic everywhere. There's a bunch of construction. And of course, you can't see the Bellagio Fountains. You cannot see that show, which is crazy that they still run it. But once we get up past this light, you guys will see that it's going off, but you can't see it until it hits like the highest point of which the water hits because you could see it just over the bleachers barely. So will that deter people from coming to Vegas or no? I'll be honest, if you're not visiting Vegas for the Formula One races right now, I don't think I would come to Vegas because this is your view of the Bellagio Fountains. You see how you could see it over the bleachers right there? And then in between, like under the bleachers, but in between the fence 
Yeah, that's the view of the whole thing. It doesn't get better. Also, this was the outdoor seating I was talking about here on the right, and then on the left, that's like the VIP, like indoor seating section. Now, as a local, I can only hope that the Formula One race goes well and according to plan and that they do stay for their 10 year contract and that it does bring in the revenue that they're looking for. But if we're being realistic, I don't know if it'll go that route only because the races are November 15th through the 18th and they're still selling tickets. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing that they're still selling tickets or maybe it's like a last minute thing that they wanted to sell tickets to encourage people to come. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. What are your guys' thoughts on this whole thing? Also, please enjoy this lovely view of the fountains going on. Also, one thing I wanted to mention because I am kind of confused about is they only have like obstructures to block the view of the race and seating on the right side. So like on Bellagio's side versus if you look on the left with like the Link and Flamingo and the Venetian, there's nothing there. There's no construction, there's no obstructions. So what happens to those people who can see the strip and the race from their hotel room but that's on the left side like will they put up obstructions like right before the race or like how does that work i don't know i'm a bit confused um but yeah so that's pretty much it because we are turning on to Harmon right now and then it's a straight shot from here to global so if you guys like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below your guys' thoughts on this whole Formula One coming to Vegas thing and who you guys will think will win the race. And of course, while you're at it, be sure to smash that subscribe button and don't miss out for next week's video. See you guys later. Toodles!